from Spain. Hello, how are you guys? And I just wanted to do a little week reading with me. Why can't I come up with the right words to say? Oh my God. Basically, here I am, I'm reading, I'm in Spain. It's a read with me vlog for a weekly reading vlog. Thank you, a weekly reading vlog. I don't know why it took me 20 tries to convey that. I just finished reading Babel by Arf Wong. And once again, she's fucking done it. She's fucking done it. I don't know how she does this. Is everything I read of hers going to be rated five stars? I don't know. But right now that's the current trajectory it's on. I'm so at a loss for words to describe the effects of her books because they make me think and they make me feel things very strongly. I was literally shaking with rage in this coffee shop, which I'm sure you guys saw the clips, but I'm just so astonished. Like I'm genuinely so, I don't know how she can make me hate a character with such vitriol. And then 10 pages later, I feel like I can sympathize with them again. It's just, it's insane. And she's a true artist. And I think that if I ever met her, I would cry. I wasn't going to pick up Yellow Face by her just because I'm more interested in her fantasy works. I'm just more of a fantasy girly, but now I think I'm going to just because this feels like one of my top authors now. Genuinely, I cannot recommend these books enough. This and then the Poppy War trilogy, probably. The Poppy War trilogy, first of all, is my Roman Empire. I randomly will think about that and be like, fuck man, like that was, that was fucking intense. This has now joined it. If you like dark academia and you like to nerd out about language and literature, this is definitely, definitely the book for you. It's similar to The Secret History in that there are a bunch of like basically language nerds at a school, but yeah, just absolutely brilliant writing. I can't find anything wrong with it. I have like a personal qualm with it, but not something that can be said without it being a spoiler. So I won't say it, but it will still be rated five stars because I feel like there, I can't say anything bad about it at all. But yeah, so this was the first book down in Spain and I only have a couple days left here, but I have brought three more books. So I'm gonna start another one and I think I wanna start, I don't know, it's either gonna be The Virgin Suicides or The Woman Destroyed. It just depends on how I'm feeling. I think I was feeling Virgin Suicides, but maybe right now in this moment, I'm feeling The Woman Destroyed because I definitely wanna get to that while I'm in Spain. And if I don't end up having time to read it, The Virgin Suicides can come later. So that is the plan. Let's keep reading. <laughs> translated from French, duh, it's Simone de Beauvoir. But after reading Babel and all this stuff about translation, I kind of want to read the original. I think that, I mean, obviously I'm going to read this, but I think I'm going to maybe put that on my 2024 books to read. Something like that. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs>
I finished A Woman Destroyed yesterday. I'll save my final thoughts to the end, but I did really like it. And I've just started The Virgin Suicides. And this book feels like it's gonna be finished on the plane because it's only like 250 pages. So, I'll keep you guys updated. <laughs> I never actually filmed an outro for this video. So I'm back, I'm here, and I'm gonna tell you my final thoughts on these books. The Woman Destroyed, I rated this a 4.5 because there are so many great quotations and I think that Simone really captures the nuanced quality of aging as a woman and I really loved it. I didn't rate it five stars just because it didn't give me the five star feeling, but I would highly recommend this. It's very short. You could literally read it in a day and I think that it just really kind of puts the life of a woman into perspective and what different stages of her life life mean for her and for the world, I guess. But I really did like this. And then lastly, The Virgin Suicides, I ended up reading this four stars. I also really liked this book as well. Once again, we have a theme going of like female misery and understanding the female psyche, or at least the feminine psyche. I really liked this book. I liked how the author wrote about kind of like middle America and suburbia and how it kind of gave it this like almost dreamlike quality. I really enjoyed that. Ultimately, I don't really these books are kind of hard for me to describe because I don't really understand them fully It's one of those things where you finish a book, you know And you have to meditate on it for a couple of days and I've been thinking about them and I still can't really formulate my thoughts So I think I'm gonna have to just keep thinking about it and eventually I'll be able to articulate better Maybe how I feel but I did like both of them. So there's that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video Happy vlogmas happy holidays, and I will see you in the next one mm -hmm.